Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to create a reset button uh, for statistics, uh, like if you're keeping a score for a game or if you're keeping a statistic for an individual player or for an entire team. I'm going to show you how you can create a button to clear uh, those statistics and then I'm also going to show you how to create a master button which will clear everything uh, within your vMix UTC setup. And this is actually a, a subscriber request, and I do apologize. It came some time ago from Photo Kino Live, and I'm looking at my phone now, and it says it was approximately two months ago. And uh, he left a comment that says, how to make a button which will reset the score to zero or all score resets to zero. And that's indeed what we're going to cover today. So make sure you stay tuned. We're going to have this and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Okay, to start out with, this is the layout that we're going to be using today. And uh, you can see over here where I created five players. And these five, pre, uh, five players are created uh, through a list widget. And then what I did is I went into Notepad like you've seen me do so many times before. And I created a, a short list of five players. And then I came back uh, in this list widget and I clicked on this button right here. If I hover over this, it'll say load list. And then if I hover over this one, uh, it's a save, save list. So what I did is I used the load list button. I'll click on that. And I made a file in Notepad that was called demo name. So all I did was cl uh, uh, click on that and click open. And then it brings in these names. Well, I can uh, access these names from the drop down menu here. So I'm going to go ahead and make player one me. I'm going to make player two my brother. Going to make player three my business partner. Going to make player four my son. And I'm going to make player four one of my co workers. So that was easy. All I did was go to the list. Uh, I created a list widget for each one of these. And I went and I, uh, from the drop down menu, and I selected a different player for each one of these. To set up these buttons right here, it's actually very easy. I did, I used the score widget for every one of these. And I've created them. Uh, completely for player one, player two, player three, and player four. And I'm going to show you um, player five. We're going to create all those uh, today during this tutorial. Okay, Each one of these is actually a, a version of the score widget. And for this one right here, uh, what I did is I just typed in points under the heading and that's going to be displayed right here. And then I checked the reset button. And then the link that we're going to re, uh, use to reset uh, this particular value is CPP1. And that means clear, clear points for player one. And then when we came down here under style, for this one, I selected basketball. And when I use basketball, it's going to bring in a preset for us, the plus one, the plus two, and the plus three. And you can see those right here, plus one, plus two, and plus three. For the second one, I clicked on it again. It's a score widget and I just typed in rebounds here under name and then I checked the reset button for this one and I made this the link to this one CRP1 which stands for clear rebounds player one. Next one is for assists and I, I again I clicked the or I checked the reset box and this one is clear assists player one and again that was a score widget. This last one is fouls. Again, you can see it's a score widget. I check the reset button and the value or the link that I put in for the reset button is CFP1 for clear fouls player one. And I'm going to go ahead and put some information in these. And then this clear stats player one button. So this is a button widget. And under this button widget, the name that I put in here is clear stats player one. And I checked this execute box and we're going to use this link a little bit later. And I put in CSP1 for clear stats player one. And then what I did is I clicked on this script button four times and it brings in uh, number zero, number one, number two, and number three. And these are scripts that we're going to put in. So from the drop down menu, I selected uh, execute link. And then I put in link one, which is CPP1, and that was clear points player one. We use that over here. 
clear points player one. And then the next one it's gonna to go to is CRP1, which was clear rebounds player one. And that's right here. Clear rebounds player one. The third script that we're gonna execute uh, with the execute link, com uh, execute link command is CAP1, which was clear assist player one. And that's what we put right here. And the fourth one, we're gonna again type in the command or select from the drop down menu the command execute link. And then that link is CFP1. And that stands for clear fouls player one. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna run those scripts that we put in this button. I'm gonna click on it right now. And you can see where all these values change to zero. So for the rest of these, all I did was duplicate and then changed a little bit of information on it. And it allows, um, it allows the setup to go a whole lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna slide it over. This says points. The, uh, since we're duplicating a button that's already created, the reset button is already checked for us. And we're just gonna change this number four to number five. So this here is clear points player five. Gonna duplicate this one for rebounds. Bring that over. Take out the portion that says copy. And then we're gonna change the link here to clear rebounds player five. Gonna do the same thing for assist. Let's go ahead and copy it. Bring it over. Get rid of the text that says copy, change the four to five, and now this is going to um, execute the uh, script that's clear assist player five. And then the last one, we're going to go ahead and copy this one and slide it over. Once again, get rid of the copy text, change the four to five, and this is going to clear fouls player five. And so on all these, this would have been, uh, the command on this one would have been clear fouls player two, this one clear fouls player three, this one should be clear fouls player four, let's see what it says, and it does clear fouls player four. This one here is going to be CAP4 for clear assist player four, and it is. And I try to keep the naming of these uh, commands very simple. So if I come back to it later, it'll make sense to me. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna duplicate this one and we're gonna bring it over. We're gonna get rid of the copy and we're gonna change this to player five. So now it reads clear stats player five. And on all these links here, since we copied it from player four, they're all gonna have the number four in here. So we're just gonna go and change these all to five, oops, to fives. And click OK. Well, let's go ahead and check to make sure that this is uh, working the way we want it to. We're gonna go ahead and give Charles Porter a bunch of points. Let's give him 22. He's a scorer, not a rebounder. We're gonna give him four rebounds. He's a ball hog. Every time he gets it, he shoots, no assists. And uh, he's a pretty good defensive player, uh, but he did commit four fouls in this game. So let's go ahead and click on this link here and see if it's gonna clear out those stats. And it does, you can see all of these go to zero. So that's how easy it is to set up this for each individual player. Uh, let's go ahead and slide this down here. And this is clear all. So you've probably already figured out what we did. For each one of these, we created a link, clear stats player one, clear stats, oops, this should say player two. I'm glad I looked at that. This one should say player three. And I duplicated all these, but I did not change the numbering. And this one should say player four, and it does. And this one should say player five. 
when we click on this button here, it's going to run all these scripts. Clear stats player one, clear stats player two, clear stats player three, clear stats player four, and clear stats player five. So let's go ahead and give everybody some points. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this clear all stats and it should uh, take all of these values from all of these different score widgets that we created. It should take all those values to zero. So let's see if that's what happens. And it does. All I did was click on that button and you can see where every one of these values has gone to zero. So that's how you can see, uh, create reset buttons for uh, just an individual component of the score or for a complete uh, score line or stat line for a particular player or how you can reset all the stats in your vMix UTC layout. I hope you found this uh, video informative. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and a like and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Lastly, I'd like to say please keep your uh, comments and your requests coming. I do look at those, and as you can see, it sometimes takes me a little bit to get to them, uh, but I'll do my best to try to answer your comments, and if I can, I try to come up with a tutorial that you request. As always, thank you so much.